We have a very important project uh, that started eight years ago to provide resilience to 1.3 million customers of Wessex Water uh, in the southwest, and that is in Dorset, Somerset, and in Wiltshire. Uh, it started in 2010 when I received the brief, um, and we are now in the last nine months of finishing the, the construction of the new works in those three counties and making them, putting them to work, commissioning the, the new uh, facilities for the benefit of our customers. We are providing a, a secure, resilient piece of infrastructure um, that allows water to be moved around the area uh, to where it's required um, if there is a difficulty with the supply in the local area to, to customers. Maybe it's a mechanical failure, maybe it's a plant failure, maybe uh, water quality from the boreholes because 75% of our water is from the ground. Uh, in Wiltshire and Dorset. In Somerset, uh, it's surface water, where you'll see the dams. So if there's a local problem, we're able to move water, rather like an electricity grid or a fibre optic grid. Um, we're able to move water from a different direction, different area, to keep the supply uh, guaranteed to our customers. We've had to develop some software called the Optimizer, right, which is managing the flows along the pipes between the new reservoirs and pumping stations and it is it is this application of digital technology which is what is going forward now. The designs have included impact um, against various of the uh, United Nations uh, sustainability D development goals looking at uh, protecting the land issues and below water issues such as river ecology. It has looked at the communities that are involved and taking account of their concerns and trying to avoid communities when you're putting in new infrastructure. Um, looking at the use of energy to minimise energy and obviously looking at uh, the impacts of climate change that obviously concern people greatly at the moment um, and will become probably more and more of a prevalent aspect to uh, uh, any engineering design in the future uh, in trying to provide a service to, to customers and give them a quality of life. From a sustainability point of view, it's a win-win because we've linked it with our existing infrastructure as much as possible mm. and we have created relationships with neighbouring water companies. We have managed to perfect the use of what we've got already and meet the demand, the future demand, as well as the current demand for water without having to build new infrastructure, which is very sustainable. Less concrete, less steel, less, less everything, all right? because you're maximising what you already have. And that's very important going forward in the future. Um, it's not just a question of building further new assets in civil engineering going forward at all. Apply digital technology, establish more uh, reciprocal relationships with your neighbours, be they water companies or electricity companies or gas companies or telephone companies. So you share your infrastructure very proactively and sensibly. You apply the technology so that controls it and you have a much more efficient, sustainable solution for the future.